Hello everyone. So there was a question on the uh, community and uh, the question is all about how to copy a value from subtask to parent. Now copying the data from let us say your parent issue to your child issue. Let us say you have a custom field and you want to transfer the information to your subtask is uh, uh, it's very common. A lot of people do it, but doing the reverse is not always uh, a common thing to do, but it can be done. Now, the main thing here is that if you want to use a script now, then of course, uh, doing this is extremely simple and uh, easy. You just need to reverse. You just need to basically find the parent issue object. And there is a method. Fortunately, there is a method for doing this. For example, if you are working on an issue and if that particular issue is a subtask, then you can actually retrieve the parent issue using, uh, in fact, the parent issue object using something like get parent object. Uh, and of course, you know, issue here is the actual issue object. And uh, I am sure uh, if you have been following my uh, videos, then uh, definitely I have covered this in the past. I will probably search for something like a subtask or maybe uh, take a look at, let us say, I'm just trying to find one one uh, example that I can probably give you. Let, us, let, let me open uh, uh, get subtask object. So this is of course uh, a very simple uh, method called get subtask object. And uh, while you are uh, working on a subtask, so basically here we are talking about, uh, you know, E, which is uh, basically, uh, you know, one specific uh, subtask. If you use the method, something like uh, get parent object, you will basically get uh, the parent object and, and that is it. And uh, once you retrieve the parent object, then of course you can do whatever you want with it. Maybe you want to copy the information and uh, the question is, I mean, if you look at the question, question from Tanwa Ariva, uh, so sorry for uh, not pronouncing your name correctly, but uh, the question is that, of course, how can we copy it, which is obvious that we can use parent, get parent object method, but you can either use uh, a post function or a listener. Now, you would use a script post function when uh, you have to follow a certain order, like a specific order. Like usually in a workflow, we have different post functions and uh, based on the order of the post function, things that you want to do before that particular uh, post function will happen first and then that particular script will run. And uh, you can also use listener. Listener will, of course, uh, as the name suggests, it will uh, listen for uh, different events. And uh, if, you're, if, you want, if you're trying to do something from subtask to parent, then uh, maybe you can use uh, issue update or issue transition event. I mean, it depends what exactly when exactly you want to copy the information. So if I read the actual question here, the custom field value is entered. It's first entered into the subtask after the work is done. Okay. So I guess uh, when the work is done, you will probably before closure of the subtask or before resolving it, someone will uh, enter something, I guess estimates or work log or maybe, I don't know, maybe analysis. And we need this value copy to parent before 15 other subtasks are completed for the same parent issue. So I guess in this case, uh, we are talking about other subtasks as well. So in your script, you need to check for the parents other subtask. And I believe based on uh, those other subtask status, you want to, of course, check in your script if those other subtasks are open or closed or whatever. So basically, you need to write some logic in your script. And this can actually be done. So basically, you have to uh, go to your parent and then you have to also check for the parents other subtask and it can be done. And uh, although I would still uh, try to understand why you want to copy the information from subtask to parent, although you can. But if you, if you don't need to copy it, then try to directly fetch it from subtask. I mean, why would you copy it if you can, you know, retrieve it anyways, by just going one more level down 
in the hierarchy but i'm sure you have a valid reason and uh, if you want to do it then script now for jira can definitely be used so i would recommend that try with uh, maybe uh, a post function in your case if because it seems like you want to do something in a specific order but i think listener will also be equally useful i mean the good thing about listener is that listen, listeners are outside your you know workflow so you don't have to go to a workflow and then look for the post function and then edit it and it's a bit of a pain and uh, that is why i always try to use listeners as much as i can because it is easy to monitor what is happening you can directly go to listeners section and uh, you can then uh, take a look at what happened with uh, those uh, uh listeners i mean when when was the last time it it ran and and so on so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye